So after replacing the door carrier here on the driver's side, I had to have had to remove this panel. And uh, when I put it back on, there was a lot of uh, the mounts had uh, become unglued. And I never have been able to find glue that would work. So this time I just decided to pop rivet it. Rivet it here. This is a long piece along the top. I'll just put three rivets on the top. And then there was another one down here. Uh, this one won't even be visible because of the dash here. These three, I guess if I cared about it, I could get some braged touch-up paint. This one here won't be visible when the door's closed. So it's really not a big deal. It's an old car. I'm just uh, trying to get it to go down the road a little bit longer. Working on an old BMW here on the back of the door panel, getting ready to install it back. And uh, these are notorious for popping off the adhesive fails, but you can see exactly where it used to be and you can position it right into place. And what I'm gonna do is pop rivet it in because I've never found any kind of adhesive that, that would work for me. And also I did the same on this, uh, this piece here, the glue had failed. I'll just put a few pop rivets in it. And then there's another spot back here where, where this one goes. I'll just pop rivet that one in too. And it's quicker and holds. And it's just an old BMW, it doesn't matter. So after repairing the door carrier, I had to uh, use some rivets to connect the mounts back onto the uh, inside of the door. And I don't really care about it that much. It's an old BMW and this one won't be visible because of the dash. These will be, these three on the top, but I really don't care. And this one here won't be visible uh, when the door is closed. And I guess if I really cared, I could get some Boge touch-up paint and uh, touch those up. But 